Do you know what it looks like to have 10, 20 ATMs? Stay to the end of the video and I'm gonna share with you some of the challenges you might face getting to that number. Hi, I'm Phil from the ATM Mastermind Group page and we help hundreds of aspiring ATM business owners go from zero ATMs to ATM Business Pro in as little as 30 days. All right, so what does it look like to get to 10 ATMs? What kind of challenges are you gonna face? Can I get to 20? What's the magic secret, Phil? How do I do it? So I'm gonna do it like we always do with five points. So point number one is usually getting into ATM business is fairly easy. There is some challenges. We help you navigate through the challenges, but getting from basically zero ATMs to one to three, I see students always very simple for them. They know some people, they got a barber shop, a convenience store. They know generally they're trying to get the first one and then they, and it runs into one to three. Very simple, I see it all the time. So point number one, one to three ATMs, very simple to do and easy. Hi, this is Phil from PQ Merchant Enterprises and we're here to just let you guys know that we sell ATMs. We also provide repairs on ATM dispensers and we sell keypads just like this one and this one. This is an 8000R keypad and this one is a 6000 keypad. We also repair these and do advanced replacements. So for $175, you give us your old keypad, which is like this one, and we'll give you a refurbished one so you can put it in your 1800, your 1500s, your 1800 SEs, and some of the Halo ones will also use this one. And with this special, we're also gonna offer $50 off for any new ATM sales. Just mention the promo code 2023 and we'll take an additional $50 off our regular price of the ATM. Point number two, basically two to 10, that becomes a challenge because what you have to do is you have to set up what I consider is a network or you have to figure out either set up a network or you're gonna be banging on doors to get to the magic 10. Now, what does that mean? Well, I see a lot of students, they're, they're grinding, they're knocking on a lot of doors, some started cold calling, they do this, in anticipation to get to the elusive 10. But the challenge is, is they're running into brick walls. And so they come to me and they say, Phil, I, you know, I got my first three, I'm killing it, but how do I get up? What do I need to do? What's the secret? One of the secrets is you have to have people help you find locations. So if you're thinking about starting your own profitable ATM business, but didn't know where to start, stay in the video and I will show you our checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist, the five things you need to know to start your profitable ATM business. So you can have a clear roadmap towards ATM business success. You can earn between $250 and $1,500 of passive income every single month. All right, let's get back to the video. Point number three, what you're gonna do is you're not gonna be looking for locations. What you're gonna be doing is developing relationships and networking opportunities to, to get you to the between three and 10 locations. So those are the things you're gonna concentrate. Usually I see people, they take a step back. Now some do this and they take a step back and they rely on their three and they stay in the business for a while or they say, you know what, I wanna to get to 10, I can't get there, I'm out. But the smart ones, the ones that really get in there and grind, and I'm not calling people silly or stupid, I'm just saying the ones that really wanna hustle and then they find a way to get through that barrier. The barrier is three. You have to get through that barrier. Just think that we're gonna to get to 10, that's the number. But what do we do? We're gonna take a step back and we're gonna develop our network. And so the next, however long it takes you, develop those networking opportunities. Whatever those are, start developing them because they will pay dividends and fruit later. Now, point number four. All right, so now you got your, your networking group. You, you got your opportunities. You got your people who are finding your locations. Now what happens is this is the next challenge you're gonna face is these locations are gonna start coming in. People are gonna start calling you and say, hey, I got a location over here. I got this convenience store. I got this laundromat. Hey, I, I was over here and I saw there's an opportunity for you, Phil. And you're like, great. Now you go and you, you start placing these ATMs and also now it's four, five, six, seven. And you're like, uh-oh, slow down. I am running into cash flow issues. Now I need to get, I wanna scale. I have the locations coming in, that was a barrier. And now my barrier is cash flow. What do I do? This is a great opportunity for you. What do you, people say, well, what do I do, Phil? So what do you mean what do you do? This is what you want. You wanna be selected. You wanna be choosy. You wanna make sure that these locations are gonna pay dividends or fruit for your business. The other thing that's nice is, you know what? You might have a location that's not, not performing to your level, but you've held on to that location because you're like, well, this is better than nothing. But now it's time to get that nothing out, get going, let that one kick that one to the curb, pull that ATM and put it into a new location 
that you think is gonna be a barber or what they call out there in ATM world, a banger. So that's a great opportunity. You also have the ability to negotiate a better contract, a better split, because now people are begging you. And it's the best time in the ATM business when people are asking you to place the ATM in there. Now it's a good time to negotiate better deals and make yourself more profitable. And point number five is, okay, now you got your system and networking, they're starting to call you. Now you got, you're making more money because you're making better splits, better, better deals. And now your cash flow is, you're starting to eliminate that cash flow. Now when you get to almost between seven and 10, you should be able to place almost one ATM per month. Now, I don't recommend you do that. Always slow and steady. You know what, take some time. I would say place it maybe every three months because now you're building that cash flow up. You're doing the business the right way. Don't grow too fast. I see so many people grow too fast and then they're out of cash and they, they're not generating enough of revenue because a lot of times we're doing this to make a side business, side hustle, make some extra money. And then what happens is they start using that money for their everyday life. And that's what you're supposed to do, but always put some to grow the business. Now that you've mastered how to get more locations, you've mastered your cash flow. this business is gonna be a great business for you and your family, and it's gonna be a game changer. All right, so if you're thinking about starting your own ATM business, I wanna invite you to our free checklist entitled ATM Business Passive Income Checklist. The five things you need to know to start your profitable ATM business. So you can start earning passive income, make more money for your family, and spend more time with them also. If that sounds like something that's interesting to you, click the link down below and start your ATM journey today. Again, this is Phil from the ATM Mastermind Group page, where we buy your freedom at one transaction at a time. Thank you guys for making us number one on YouTube, and I'll see you over at the next ATM Mastermind video.